Yeah, you got to walk a thin line between going too far in your road. Exactly. And to the point where it fuck up your money, you know. As that's just like any rapper who yeah. trying to be a thug and then well, you fuck around and shoot nigga. My nigga don't follow that motherfucking me path. Who? Yay. That nigga gonna be the first nigga. <laughs> that... He got too much money, man. But honestly, I, mean, I think Yay like... just did it. When he waited to he got up so enough because if he had did this shit eight years ago, yeah, it would have killed him. It, 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 gonna, I think he gonna have the same effect. No, nah, the reason I say late, that is huh? he's so influential. Man, nigga, you gonna be the first nigga to run through a billion. And be, <laughs> he gonna be looking no, like no, but the thing is, Kanye is like a Michael Jackson. When he broke, we ain't gonna know it. Yeah, he might be broke be, now. because the thing about it is Kanye don't have. It's like, like. There's no concept of money when you don't even know where the money come from. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just know it's money somewhere. Like, do you think Michael Jackson woke up and knew how much was in his bank accounts? <laughs> he how been, much money he He been made. making so much money, he don't control. He don't even have control of it. When you ever saw that video of him walking in that little antique store, it was like a furniture store, and he was just picking shit. I want that. I want that. It was like 40 things, he was just, and he wasn't looking at the price. He just knows if it's for me, I can have it. Like, if you, like... Like, Kanye believes he can go and buy a whole warehouse and just leave it there and don't know what to do with it. And then he don't, like, he don't account for taxes. He just knows somebody going to pay it. And like, he one of those people. And then you just say the word syndical. Have we sung this shit before with Bobby Brown just drop a car off? And- no, that's nah, Bobby that's Brown didn't have no Kanye no. money, though. All right. Like, I think you you short selling it. What I mean by that is you are an entity in yourself. Your name is an entity. You're- I think that's going to run out. I think no, that's going to run short for Marcus, me. Marcus, I need you to understand what I'm saying. Niggas wear this nigga shit all over the world. That doesn't yeah. go away. You get what I'm saying? That's gonna go away in time. It does not go away only because. So you think you think in 50 years from now, yay yeah, shit? It's not about right. that. It's the fact that it was. We are all. It'll never run out. It's just like we know that back in the day, everybody wore feelers, or everybody know. Like we, when you, cause when you think of this time, and this 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 10 year round, and what people was wearing, he will always be part of this historic place and time. You can't you can't erase him. So that's more than money can. That's help. more than money. He's because he I'm I'm influential on a culture in a place of time. Like like even like just think of like the fact that this man sold more than Jordan at one point in time. That's a pillar. You are now a pillar in fashion. You can't I can't erase you. That's why no matter the dumb shit he say he keep getting partnerships because his name moves so much merchandise. That don't go away when you run out of money because at the end of the day. When it go broke and they say we go no longer gonna sell Yeezy uh, gear, what you think that's gonna be happen? It's gonna become a collector's yeah. item. So now it's gonna become more valuable because there's no more of it, and it was so influential. So everything that he's ever come out with is just gonna have more value. Well, I don't know if it because if if that's gonna happen or it just come come so generic. That yeah, you that's for, what you I'm... forget that it's even associated with Kanye. With it's almost that's like even worse. It, it's like if say you know. <laughs> Ten year old now, he might not even know who Michael Jordan is. He just knows he Jordan's knows Jordans again. though. You know what I'm saying? But he might you he might see Michael Jordan and be like, who the fuck is that? You, you want to know? know why? Because Yeezys are so comfortable. They like are. think of I don't like that's when you when it's a product that you separated from the person that whose name is on. Like you think everybody that wore Jordans was a fan of Michael Jordan? Everybody signed to Jordan probably ain't a fan of my Jordan. It's impossible, but you know, if I want to have social equity, this helps me have social equity. And so that's why we're saying it's kind of hard for you to say, oh, it's going to wash away because now it's tied to, like, social equity. Like, when 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 a kid walking around now and probably never heard a Kanye album is wearing Yeezys because he knows – Every kid in his fourth grade class that's cool has Kanye's shoes. I don't know. I don't even know who Yeezy is. I just know Ye double call Yeezys. I don't know that this is Kanye West's shoe. That's that's a level of like celebrity that most people don't get to. Like most, it's going it's a level. It's amount of kids out there that that only associate Rihanna with the lady that makes fancy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She ain't, when she ain't came out no music in like seven years, eight years. So if you a six, seven year old girl and your mom is a makeup artist and you see this thing around there, it's fancy, 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 and she come out with an album and you see her perform at the Super Bowl, this boy gonna be a six or seven year old who's never seen Rihanna perform. Like, oh shoot, that's the makeup lady. 
You get what I'm saying? Like gotcha. when you it, that's but that's a level of movement and merchandise that's that most people be. don't get yeah, to. That's where you want to go though. Yeah. Like I, I can't, can't wipe there, away. Man. Like that nigga can literally like do some fucking biblical shit, like non-biblical shit, and do the worst thing in man when it comes to like some criminal shit. Kanye. Everybody ain't gonna stop wearing Kanye's uh, shoes. That's the that's that is gonna be one of those things like, damn, they these are my favorite walk around shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna blow up my Yeezys because this nigga went and raped somebody. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what's gonna happen. It's like <laughs> like think of Def Jam ain't go away when Russell went Simmons had all that shit yeah, happen. That's true. But that's his baby. It, the name of the product became bigger than the person that created it. Jordan has said some crazy shit. He left his woman. You know, most black and went and married an Hispanic lady. A lot of black women, you would think, man, this nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't never spoke up on nobody hey, black. Man. Hey, I, I give y'all this example. Y'all know who Woody Allen is? Yep. Yeah. Woody Allen. He's a weirdo. Think, think yeah. of all the shit. But these motherfuckers still use his, <laughs> a lot of his uh, his work as some of like the peak yeah. of, of like camera work. They say, like, if you wanted to learn how to do an international movie, he's one of the pillars. So they still use his work in film school. <laughs> that, man, that man raised the lady, adopted a girl. He groomed her. Raised her, exactly. then married her. And still married to her. And nobody said shit. No, they, <laughs> they said it, but it's, <laughs> like, it's, still, it's just Woody Allen. <laughs> and, and so when it comes with Kanye, I think... Unfortunately, Kanye is somebody who he's past the point of where you feel as though this is a character, and now I just believe he's like in a in a in a dark place, like because just thinking the stuff that he's doing and he has done over time, it has no consistency to it. The one thing that's consistent is we always know that he tries to like weaponize being a black man when it when it when it's convenient for him. You know what I mean? Like, oh they trying to keep a black man down. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but you're not you're not black. You Kanye, remember? Yeah. So you it's not even a black man at this point. You're faceless. <laughs> and so it's like you're in a conflict with yourself the because the same person when he said George Bush don't give a damn about black people. That shit just on another amplified level. He was Kanye, an idiot. Then. Somebody could say it now to Kanye, like you don't give a fuck about black people. Yeah. If you give, you give a fuck about whatever leverages the brand of Kanye. Yep, yep. The whatever. brand and legacy of Kanye. So you will weaponize whatever you need to to push it forward. What's different between the, what's different between that and a politician at the highest level? Exactly. And I, yeah. like facts. Like if you understand that, like about him, then you know I, you he wouldn't get as much coverage. Like, like that's what bothers me that we know the agenda, uh, and, and like, like, like you people behind the scenes know the agenda, but you're still putting the fuel out there to the people that don't know and think, you know, get real passionate I mean, about this. I mean, it's kind of like a me, football game. Yeah, he gave me interviews to Tucker Carson though. You know, there's it's a whole different type of energy that's feeding his. His but but Kanye right just now. thinks his genius is outside of art. Yeah, we'll and see. that's what when he when people say like I, this is what happens when you call somebody a genius, they start yeah. believing that they are in totality. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. you know, you are a genius, and we want to call it that. This, this area, little small yeah. pocket of of yeah. of what you do, but you now he really believes he's Albert Einstein walking around but, this shit. But that's the thing though, if you Albert Einstein to tell you, yeah, I'm a genius at this. Exactly, he knew you what he left there. I couldn't yeah, yeah. tie my shoes. I'm a social. I'm socially inequity. Yeah. In, you know, in up. I'm damn near on the spectrum, and that's where most geniuses are close to the spectrum because they are avoided somewhere else. It's like when someone is blind, so their sense of hearing, yeah, or, or, or touch yeah. is is heightened. But but you know what though? I think what people and what I've realized about Kanye is he's been hip hop's poor child. You know. He didn't cry wolf. People <laughs> ran many a time. And now it's just to the point like, man, like you said, nah, we see it all. Like, nah, man, nah. And it, and it's going to, I think it's going to, this is the part I don't see him really bouncing back from. I, I mean, I don't see him 
like getting the wolves back together and they cover him again, like Jays and the Puffs, and he just doing but like he don't, I, he don't I, need he, them no more, guys. He, I, I think he's so big. At yeah, time. I think that's the thing. That's he didn't that's, reach, that's reach that affirmation where yeah, he like that is the point. Oh, well, like yeah. that's and the he point. said it. He like I'm gonna make everybody mad at me. Like don't want to talk to honestly me. because Kanye feels as though if I alienate everybody, that's still gonna be a use for me. I mean, it is. If though. I make my if I make myself an island, you still gotta come over here. Yep, he, you still think got so? the, he still got them beats. Shit. Still, he, like at the end hey, of the day, hey, facts at the Pusha T concert, <laughs> man. And then you got to think of it like this: Pusha T keep him grounded. If you are a, if you are a, 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 in the music business, or just a celebrity in, a, at all, he's tied to the Kardashian brand, whether it's good or bad. He's tied to he's tied to his own uh, empire, and He's somebody that if I just put my name on your shit, it's yep. going to go out. It's it's gone. Even if it's not good, people are going to give you, it a chance. You, you right. You got, you got to look. 20, <laughs> do your day. Do your day. You know what I'm saying? But like, but like 23 years, well, we in year 2022. Kanye has been relevant for all 20, like even the, blue, been relevant the, blue, for 20 the, years. the blueprint dropped, what, 2000? 2001. 2001. So he, you know, what say you give him, give him that 2000 year because you know he has something. But 2001 with the blueprint, Kanye is all over there. That's just the beginning of what they say. To me, they say, well, uh, hip hop was at the maturity level when it, like, like when it, it took off. Yeah. yeah, it really took off. So all of that. So you, yeah, he been we, here we, like you said, we yeah. speaking, we speaking about somebody on a level that we ain't going to. We may not never hit, but we can't speak on it because he done, he done reached a level of affirmation that, like, he realized, like, think I think he did an analysis, like, man, you know they're going to take your technology and you're looking at yourself a billion now, but you don't look at how you didn't capture a generation and they're going to use the same technology that you gave them 25 years later and they're going to be making billions and billions and man. billions. Like, think of it like this. Just think of the... Uh... What is the technology used in Yeezy shoes? Uh, I forgot some the name. Foam, some foam, some some uh, where the sole, the, te- the technology yeah, the for te- that sole. Yeah, Adidas had that for like fifteen years before it, it was shelved. They didn't have a use for it until Kanye came and you know and incorporated that in his design. It was like, and that became their biggest like technology. That became what they were known for. Mm-hmm. Something they already had. It just took somebody to find make it use. pops. Yeah, it's like the pink polo. That's the perfect. <laughs> you gotta think. Yep. The perfect. Like yep. he, he basically, he prepped up. He prepped up hip hop at a time when it was street as hell. So that shows you the influence even before he became the influential. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. at the end of the day, he was somebody who. I fit in everywhere because I have a value, a valuable talent. Benny Siegel, who was the most gangster nigga on the roster, still felt that this the nigga I need to work for, work with to get my sound. Jay-Z, who was the highest on the on the on the totem pole, realized this is sound I need. So all the outbursts and all the whining and complaining he was doing because they wasn't trying to hear his raps and shit, they just tolerated it. You think that they tolerate a nigga keep trying to put on his own music while they trying to make their shit? Like, imagine a nigga that hijacked a, a Jay-Z yeah. uh, 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 studio session. Hey, put my shit on. You, <laughs> Let think, this. Let you really this. think if a nigga did that shit that wasn't like astronomically good at what he did was going to just stay in the room? <laughs> like think of that out loud, like. But that's Kanye. Just being, like, so then niggas be like, "That's just Kanye being Kanye." Yep. Like, as much as Jay doing, he still can get some passes in grace. Like, I mean, like, 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 nah, like Antoine, you just really like made it. You just, you just made it where it humanized like, like who he is and why he's still gonna be successful. Why he's still gonna be relevant. Why it ain't gonna stop. Where. I can't even fool with none of his answers right now because some of the things that he just done, like, like it's like, dude, you you really think you the most powerful person in the world, man? I feel like you almost, um, you fan hurt. <laughs> Not in a bad way. No, that's a real thing because you was really fucking and going to bed. Yeah, and a lot you. of, 
a lot of Kanye fans feel like you. Yeah. Well, like, we tried to, excuse we tried to argue with our friends about, like, bro, y'all don't understand. It's just like, you get, you've gone so far where I can't even defend it. And it's like, that's a, that, that shows you, like, the levels that he's gone to. When, yeah. Because if I, if you listen to an episode of I was two years ago, or just a year ago, you have a whole completely different outlook on it. But, He's kind of like ended up tag, taking away more and more rope that yeah. we give him, and what that 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 really kind of um, ties to the fact that you even see women like black women siding with Kim Kardashian. Like I saw a woman <laughs> in the comments like, "Oh, I can't stay in that family," but the fact Kim stayed around that long, oh, like man. like you know what I'm saying? It's like damn, like but it, you 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 will say something like that, but like you it ain't like. Kim didn't have no skin in the game. Like she needed their relationship to be a Yeah, of course she needed that. That's why she made, I felt like that's why she she stayed as long as she did. That shows you the point that I had. Where it was like, the what comes with me is worth more than what you deal with to deal with me. And yeah. like it's like it's like basically the shit that is it's the old, it's the woman that marries the old millionaire. She's not well, physically I'm excited to listening to you, Antoine. I'm excited to see if it's model sustainable or not because I don't think I don't think it's sustainable coming back from. Okay, this shit so okay, so Kanye tomorrow <laughs> he drop a banger with Pusha T, Jay Z. I don't think he you know ain't even saying? get to that Who point. Who else on there? Ain't nobody gonna. Ain't nobody no, gonna, no, 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 we we saying hypothetical. Yeah, I'm just saying hypothetical. Like, like he if, dropped his banger if, tomorrow. If, oh, he could just put gotta, out a goddamn. He could put out a goddamn uh, video. Like a video album of just vi- content that he created, or if he was to drop a documentary tomorrow, would you listen? Would you pay? It's attention? gonna be trending. Would you pay? A- I'm, I'm personally, Mar- I'm, I want to hear Marcus personally. Yeah, I'm, would you pay attention? Yeah, I'm gonna pay. You attention gotta think to his, 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 <laughs> the uh, the Kanye thing on Netflix just dropped what like six months ago. Yeah. I mean, he ain't just all fuck it up. And so that, he, that shit was number one on Netflix. He ain't <laughs> fucked up too much, guys. You still paying attention. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's the car wreck that you just can't turn away from. It's like, even if Kanye was to go away for eight years and just not say shit, and niggas was like, ooh, God, I'm glad this nigga gone. This nigga just pick his head out. They're like, oh, shit. It's, you, I saw Kanye walking around playing a piccolo. Hey, like, I drank 3,000. Hey, like, hey, fine as ever. Like, dude was at a soul food restaurant. <coughs> just yeah, eat just some eat, greens. Yeah, eat. And, the nigga, <laughs> and the nigga in there like, man, the price said what up? Like, yeah. mind you, I guarantee the owner of that soul food restaurant was just cussing out Kanye in this group chat. <laughs> but Kanye walk in there, now you want to take pictures with him. <laughs> the gold in here. You get what I'm saying? This is a perfect example yep. of what I mean. When I say his actual social equity is worth more than his antics. And it's a sad thing because, unfortunately, that's why you can't tell him shit. Because you don't think he know that? And that's why you can't so, tell so him shit. So that's why I'm concerned. Does he, does, is he trolling? Is he trolling? No, he ain't trolling. I, he, he honestly he, he believes. Tro- he trolling. <laughs> no, but he, I, it started out as he, trolling. He, he trolling you with the truth, though. It, it, God, it, that's what it is. He like, <laughs> look what I can do. Like honestly, okay, because he he testing and he testing the um the the uh, the antics with his genius of like seeing how far can my genius quote unquote yeah, take, take me, me. take me. Take me.